Septic shock is a big problem around the world and it has a mortality rate of about 40 to 60 percent. So if you start to show symptoms of septic shock, um, you're in pretty bad shape. As our bodies kill bacteria like E. coli, the dead bacteria breaks into fragments that can fool our bodies into reacting as if the infection has grown many times larger. Two University of Missouri St. Louis researchers are working on a way to turn off our immune system when it overreacts. So when you have a bacterial infection, you have actually the presence of bacterial cells in your body. Now on the outside of a bacterial cell, there's many proteins and molecules. One of the molecules on the outside of the cell is very strong at inducing your body's immune response. And what it does is it causes macrophage cells to flood into the area where you have an infection. We've been working on uh, compounds that are specifically targeting this receptor that's called CD14. Those compounds are interesting uh, for chemists because they're challenging to make. They're not interesting for the industry because they're challenging to make. So these molecules mimic the structure of uh, carbohydrates that are present on the surface of E. coli bacterium. By combining their knowledge and the expertise of both of their labs, they have found a simple and reproducible carbohydrate to block the C14 receptor from the effects of E. coli fragments. First, we try to simplify the natural compounds and then we try, we try to add some auxiliaries. And we started uh, realizing that some strange protecting groups that uh, no one would predict would work in these compounds, they were actually uh, quite uh, potent in, uh, in cell. So we started optimizing it and finally, after screening a couple of dozens of compounds, we found a structure that uh, uh, satisfies, satisfies everything, uh, pretty much simplicity versus activity. And this is uh, uh, what we uh, actually testing right now. I think what's really important in science right now is uh, collaboration between different disciplines, whether it be chemistry, biology, physics, it's hard to solve problems now with just one focus. And so collaboration between different labs uh, that work on different things is very important. 